is AM 1160 WCCS 101.1 FM. And in the studio with us this morning, helping us to close out the program today, Indiana Borough Police Lieutenant Justin Shaw and downtown Indiana's Dave Janicek. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. It's good to have you in the studios with us here today. Um, Indiana Borough has undergone a lot of different changes, um, of course, uh, physical changes, uh, and uh, a lot of the downtown is different for people to recognize today than it would have been even a year or two years ago. One of the things that Indiana Borough has always been uh, is uh, a difficult place to find parking uh, at certain times of the day. Well, there's going to be some parking changes coming, and uh, you gentlemen are here to talk about that. We are. We are. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Honored to be here, as always, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about parking in Indiana. I know that uh, when you say parking in relation to uh, Indiana Borough, there may be a stigma about it, but I'm hoping that that's in the past because oh, uh, uh, with my promotion, I had the I had the pleasure of following an excellent person in Frank Kowalsik, who was uh, a lieutenant of traffic and parking with the Indiana Borough Police Department. Mm-hmm. And... Um, with Lieutenant Kowalsik's retirement, I stepped into a position of special services within the Indiana Police Department. And special services is a, uh, covers a wide range of topics, uh, traffic, parking, communications, administration for the borough police. But what I really wanted to speak to today is parking because uh, Indiana Borough Council and Chief Sutton from the police department uh, have been wholly supportive and completely behind an upgrade to Indiana Borough parking. Mm-hmm. And really what I want everyone in the community to know is that there is great reason to be excited and speak positively about our parking in Indiana borough because in very short order uh, there are going to be a number of uh, a number of enhancements and upgrades Mm -hmm. that are not only uh, not only have been projected uh, but are starting to come to fruition and by the end of this year I feel very very positive about the situation with Indiana Borough parking, specifically the methods in which people can uh, park. The locations are largely the same, Mm -hmm. but we're going to enhance everything about parking to include payment options, to include uh, monthly rentals, to include ease of operation, safety and security. We're going to increase downtown partnerships with local businesses. And uh, really, overall, what I hope to do is to enhance the overall customer service with Indiana Borough. Park. And Dave Janicek with Downtown Indiana. Uh, business is what you guys are all about. I'm sure that uh, you're looking forward to this uh, whole right. new program, too. When we first sit, we first sat down with the, the borough parking department, um, Justin said one thing. Parking needs to be run like a business. And, like, the light went on. And that made a lot of sense because mm-hmm. parking is business and business is parking. So, you know, as Justin spoke, a lot of uh, what we want to see is more of that partnership. We listen to what some of, you know, we believe me. I'm sure that Justin hears it. I know I hear it more than I want to hear it sometime about the uh, ease of or non-ease that people will perceive of the parking in downtown. And there are there is plenty of parking. There's, uh, you know, interesting things of just through the marketing plan that we put together. Um, we'll start to show people where and how to park. Mm-hmm. And when I say how to park, it's not no one's going to give you a parallel parking lesson. I think Justin's going to be out there, you know, with the two. Oh, your car knows Buckets. how to do that now, anyway. Right, anyhow, so, so we got that out of the way. But, you know, the how to park and where to park, the ease of park, um, you know, the enhancements to the garage, the enhancement to some of the promotional ideas, uh, some of the things we kind of tested the water with uh, last year. Uh, when we do events in downtown, we now offer a parking rate for events. Um, mm-hmm. And it's interesting, you know, a lot of people that take advantage of that are our friends from without the region. So it's not just Indiana Borough residents. It's yeah. people from all over that say, hey, this is a great rate for parking. You've got a special event rate. Where can I park? Um, you know, and we almost have to do this as our events get larger. Um, you know, we've already started talking, obviously, about the It's Wonderful Life Festival. How do we park 9,000 people in a two-mile square area um, efficiently, pleasantly, and, you know, with, with high-end customer service? So it's those kind of things, you know, we talked about uh, meter passes for retailers, um, validations for customers, um, better leasing uh, options to really make it easier for business to do business while using the parking and customers using the parking in downtown. Mm. So many of us remember Philadelphia Street being nose-in parking. Uh, It used to be that way where you parked nose-in with the rear end of your car sticking out almost in the traffic lane. And then when somebody had to back out, why uh, that created a jam going all the way down to down to East Pike, uh, but it's not that way anymore. Justin, what are some of the changes that folks can look forward to? 
Well, uh, thank you for asking that. Um, but downtown Indiana is a great place, and I, and I hope upon hope that uh, the parking department specifically, but Indiana Borough Parking can become a partner with the downtown businesses and, and actually enhance what's going on downtown. So some of the changes that we're, uh, I hope that you see, we've refined our mission. We've created a web page for Indiana Parking, which wasn't previously here. Uh, web page is www.indianaborough, spelled B-O-R-O dot com, uh, backslash parking. We have a Facebook page up, uh, and I encourage everyone to like us at uh, Indiana Borough Parking uh, Facebook. We're going to bring uh, a new look to the parking department and the staff, more customer, what I hope to be customer service friendly, community ambassador approach mm-hmm. to parking as opposed to a strict enforcement component of parking. Uh, we're going to bring credit and debit options to our parking garage so that if you're someone that prefers to pay with credit or debit, you can certainly do so. If you're someone that would rather pay with cash and coin as you're used to, you could certainly do that as well. If you'd like to not exit your car at the parking garage, you have a ch- you have an opportunity to pay for your parking garage parking at the actual exit gates. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't even have to approach a pay station if you didn't choose to. We're going to bring mobile phone parking technology to Indiana Borough. Oh, yeah. Something special that's that's been around the region. And trust me when I tell you that I've done uh, my due diligence and research uh, to this. And I think that that's going to be an enormous enhancement then. Without giving a, an entire lesson here today, what that's going to afford us an opportunity to do is to pull up to a parking meter in Indiana Borough, and with an application on our smartphone, uh, we will be able to pay for metered parking without actually placing a coin in the parking meter. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm hoping that that creates an ease of service for everyone. We have a lighting upgrade, a massive lighting upgrade that's going to take place in the parking garage where we're transforming yeah. all of our metal halide lighting to LED lighting with a partnership from Paragon Electric. We are having a new gate system put in. We're going to have emergency kiosk stations put in at the parking garage, areas of distress or help. Uh, We're going to introduce some wall art. We're going to have, uh, we're enhancing everything about our signage to the parking garage. So Mm -hmm. you can, we can debate whether the price of parking is accurate in Indiana Borough, and I believe that it, it certainly is. But what we're, what I'm hoping to not be able to debate is that no one will not know how to park, where to park, and what the options are for parking. So I hope. At the end of my tenure, that that uh, really folks can say, you know, Indiana Borough Parking in the parking department is on the map, and it's an enhancement to Indiana Borough, mm-hmm. as opposed to uh, what I believe uh, is a thought for some that it, it sadly would be a detraction, which I don't believe it is for a second. There are a lot of special people that work in Indiana Borough, specifically parking. Indiana Borough is a great place. I've lived here all my life. Yeah. And uh, for those, what what I want to say too for anyone who's listening is that. For all the enhancements that we are going to roll out with Indiana Borough Parking, nothing changes for anyone that doesn't like change. So if you are someone who traditionally keeps quarters, dimes, nickels in a coffee cup or or in your center console and you pay a parking meter, you will still have that opportunity. Uh If you're someone that wants to use cash only or coin at the parking garage, you will still have that opportunity. We'll pull a ticket the same way to get into the parking garage and you can exit the same way. But if you're someone who would like more options, we have that too. And that's the most exciting part of the entire rollout uh, as I look at it, that we're only upgrading. Yeah. We're not removing any traditional option. We're simply enhancing. Ease of use seems to be one of the real goals here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and understanding and, and Dave, uh, you know, this of course, uh, that, uh, um, a lot of times the complaint that people have about parking or any issue is they just, aren't educated in, in what needs to be done, how right. to go about things. And, and procedures cause confusion. Uh, and it uh, sounds like uh, this is a, a whole effort at uh, easing some of that confusion that folks might right. have. I think a lot of it is, you know, there's an old saying, <clears throat> excuse me, um, perception is reality. So if I perceive that parking is a problem in downtown, parking is a problem. In my perception, I tell someone else, hey, parking is a problem in downtown. Um, what we've done here, you know, working with the borough is trying to find ways to change that perception. And to change that perception, I use an old thing, you know, you can't go back and unbirth something. You mm-hmm. know, what happened in the past happened in the past. Um, you know, uh, Justin, I think he's going to talk a little bit about an event that we're planning um, with the borough to kind of bring people in. Like, just as we've done a lot of things in town, um, come down, ask these questions. Um, I know there'll be a lot that we can't get or Justin won't be able to get into the exact, you know, what color is the new parking uh, garage machine going to be? 
Maybe he can't answer it, but he knows there's going to be a new one, and he knows it's sorted. He knows when it's going to come in. So we're going to do an opportunity um, coming up next month, and I'll have Justin talk a little bit about it, um, where we want the public to come in, whether you're, you're a customer, whether you're a retailer, come in, have some free coffee and donuts, meet the staff, bring your questions, bring your concerns. Um, I think people will be pleasantly surprised, um, you know, as Justin said, with just the new perceptions of things that – this isn't we're not there's not a whole lot of stuff changing it's enhancing it's making mm-hmm. it's innovating parking as we see it here in the downtown so i don't know if just want to talk a little bit about what we have planned coming up uh next month i do thank you um i, I want to extend a formal invitation to, uh, to anyone who would like to join us at the indiana borough parking garage which is 650 water street uh accessible from philadelphia street or water street or nixon avenue in indiana on august 17th from nine in the morning to 11 in the morning Mm-hmm. It will be extremely, although this is a formal invitation, the, the gathering will be extremely informal. But what I hope to do is reintroduce everyone to the current situation of Indiana parking and the future situation of Indiana parking. And I'd like you to meet our staff or me. And I, I want everyone to, to understand, and for anyone who may not know me, that um, I have an open mind and I have no uh, hard and fast preconceived ideas of what uh, we absolutely need. I'm interested in doing what's best for the community and what's best for folks who are going to use our services and what's best for business in downtown Indiana. So what I would hope in an extremely casual setting would be for folks who maybe haven't been to the parking garage recently or folks who park there every day, and I do appreciate and we do appreciate the, the business, uh, to come down. And uh, I would encourage everyone to park inside the parking garage, and we'll make some type of arrangement. And, there you go. And what you will see from the parking garage on August 17th is going to look vastly different a few months from now, which I think is going to be the most impressive, uh, the most impressive part. So what I'd like to do is invite everyone down uh, from 9 to 11 in the morning, and uh, you can spend five minutes, you can spend 20 minutes, you can spend two hours, however long you'd like, walking through and uh, speaking. We'll have the plan laid out so that uh, everyone can see what we have, what we have planned. And I, I would be remiss not to say that there are many wonderful people who have put together the situ- the current situation and the future situation of Indiana parking. Um, I'm in front of it just by virtue of, of my new title with the police department, but it's been, it's been years in the making and um, I just, I hope to be able to do this well so that everyone, sure. uh, so that everyone can consider this an asset to the community. August 17th is a Thursday and nine to 11 at the borough parking garage. Sounds good. Now, you are phasing things in, I know. Um, you've uh, sort of had a little checklist that you've been trying to follow and, and checking things off as each thing is completed, and, and of course, uh, that will continue as well. That's correct. I hope uh, there are a lot of things. There are a lot of pieces to this puzzle, and we're going to put them together one at a time and in an in a, in a order that makes sense and that's fiscally responsible. And um, we've, already, we've already completed... Uh, what I would consider phase three, which is securing partnerships, research, completing the plan, presenting the plan. And now we're really uh, implementing those pieces and uh, hoping to reintroduce Indiana borough residents and visitors to the pieces. And I would, I, th- I believe that by December of this year, Indiana borough parking will have a vastly different look than it does today. So things are going to happen in short order, but, yeah. but it's been a long time in the making. So I don't want anyone to think that this has been a haphazard approach. We've, mm-hmm. this is a very calculated approach, uh, to, to a fiscally responsible solution to partner with downtown Indiana. Well, we'll look forward to that on August 17th. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to visit with us today. Thank you for thank having you. us. We appreciate it. It is Indiana in the morning presented by First Commonwealth Bank. It is AM 1160 WCCS and 101.1 FM. We're headed toward Fox News coming up at the top of the hour.